I was a really reluctant guitarist. I always loved it and wanted to do it, but I'm so shy. So when I was a kid, like people were trying to kind of start bands and stuff, and I was so petrified at the idea. Like it seemed like it was like one of those kind of cool teenage things, you know? It was like drinking or like, you know, kissing girls. And it was, it was quite kind of, it was like, oh wow, this is like grown up stuff. And I was pretty nervous about it. So I started off playing drums because I wanted to be as far back as possible. But I also had very strong ideas about what I wanted, you know, when I was writing songs and stuff, I was like, no, you should do that, you should play this, you should play this. So then I was like, okay, I'll move to bass because then I can, you know, I can still be pretty far back in the room, but I can, you know, I can kind of write some songs and stuff. And then no guitarists were kind of playing how I wanted the guitarist to play. So like, okay, fine, I'll play guitar. So it was kind of, I came to it a bit later. I was probably maybe about, I don't know, still pretty young, like 15, something like that when I started playing guitar. When I was younger, it was people like, you know, Angus Young and Slash, and it was just, you know, Zach Wilde and, and all that kind of thing. And as I got older, my taste developed. Marshall was still always there with my favorite players. You know, uh, Jay Maskis from Dinosaur Jr. is like probably my favorite guitarist. With Puppy, I'd been kind of hovering between playing music that was more, you know, I was very into kind of a lot of kind of 90s alternative music, you know, I still am. Um, so noisy, but not really like heavy. So yeah, me and Billy were kind of um, playing in bands and hovering in, around this idea of trying to do something which kind of combined our, our love of like classic songwriting, as it were, you know, we're big Beatles fans and power pop stuff. But we always had this love of like heavier music of riffs and stuff, but the two worlds seemed like they kind of just didn't quite fit together. And then we hooked up with Will, who's an old friend of mine. Um, and he'd been playing in a lot of kind of like Doom and Stoner bands that we were like really jealous of because they got to play these like sick big riffs. And so it was nice. I think with Puppy, what we tried to do is kind of, yeah, bring all that stuff together and just make sense of it all and, and have fun. You know, I think we tried to kind of worry less about fitting into any kind of bracket um, and just, just doing our thing. Yeah. 